what's going on YouTube, GF Noir here. Do you remember iSecureOS, my application that I made to protect your device, especially on a jailbroken device that told you if you have malware repos or bad tweaks installed and so on? Well, it's making a comeback and it now supports non-jailbroken devices as well up to iOS 18.5 and I'm testing right now even iOS 26 support. So let's take a look at how iSecureOS 2 will look like and what features it will have. On this device in here, I have iSecureOS and this is the iSecureOS 2. Now it's been abandoned, the iSecureOS, for a while, for a couple of years, and it was only available as a tweak back then, but now it's going to be an IPA file, which means you can install it with your favorite sideloading tool, and you can do much more than search for repos and stuff. In fact, it's designed to protect your device even if it's not jailbroken. Let's do a scan and see what it can find. So you can see that the scan shows a lot of parameters over here. And since this is not only for jailbroken devices, it also can tell if your device is vulnerable to various CVEs or vulnerabilities that are used in the wild. For example, like the NSO Pegasus and other spyware, malware, stuff like that. I'm going to actually keep a whole database for this that will be updated when you open the application. So it will update the malware database on demand. So your application always stays up to date, even if you have an older version. Anyway, you can see that it says in here that it found a rootless jailbreak, which means that my device has definitely been tampered with. And yeah, if you are jailbroken with a rootless jailbreak, you shouldn't be very surprised that this pops up. But if you didn't jailbreak your device, then this should bring pretty serious concerns to you because it means that somebody tampered with your device or you have malware that injected some jailbreak tools into the system to be able to exfiltrate files or whatever. You can see exactly what it found, each artifact in here. It's a couple of folders and files and then if you go here to technical it also tells you what kind of methodology it used to detect it. So the detection method in here was file system enumeration. Anyway, if you go back you can see that it says Trollster was detected and the reason it did that, if you go here to findings, it says that it found the URL scheme that works for Troll store here on the DYLD injection. This is actually important, and this might be a telltale that something is wrong with your device and it's no longer secure. The fact that you have a dynamic link library injection in your device, which means that your applications are being compromised, tweaks are being injected in applications without you knowing. And this could happen if you have malware or if you're jailbroken. It depends on the case. So, as you can see here, it says no suspicious runtime libraries detected in 466 loaded images. So if you go here, the technical it also shows you each individual library that was loaded for this application and it will tell you and show you if you have for example libhooker or substrate or any other dynamic link library or dialib that shouldn't be here then of course you have other things like the file system sandbox if it can write outside of the sandbox it means that the device is tampered with and the sandbox has been weakened various other things like privileged path access kernel task port or tft0 ssh diamonds and environment variables system calls or syscalls, code signature or MC, and it does a lot of checks for networking and debugging. If, for example, a debugger is attached, it means that it can control the application flow, proxy settings, bootstrap detection. So then it tells you a scan summary. You can see here I have three threads over here, zero warnings and 24 secure findings. Yeah, you can do so quite easily. You can rescan and you can also share the report with me or other people so that they can try to help you determine what happened on your device. This is useful nowadays considering how many malware and spyware releases we find out on the internet. Every other report from Apple on the security of iOS shows various vulnerabilities that have been used in the wild against various targets. So it's a great idea to have an application like this. It will also be able to tell you to which CVEs your iOS version is vulnerable. So that could help as well. Anyway, this will be available here on iDeviceCentral.com. All my releases are available on iDeviceCentral.com is the only place I release them officially and of course on the channel. Definitely stay tuned. It's right now in development. More features will be added. So leave me your feature suggestions down below. Anyway, this video is brought to you by Flexstore. If you want to get your favorite jailbreak tools like Dopamine, Uncover and Taurine without a computer, you can now do so through them. They also have jailbreak applications like Blacklist, Misaka, Pure PKG and stuff like that, even Kao Benga. So no PC needed, you get a certificate directly from them and they do not expire every seven days. Check them out in the link below and definitely subscribe to stay updated for iSecureOS. Thank you for watching, I'm GSNow, peace out.